In the city of Sarajevo, on a fateful day in June 1914, the world witnessed an event that would shape the course of history. The assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria, heir to the Austro-Hungarian Empire, set off a chain reaction leading to World War I, the first global conflict of its kind, with ramifications felt even a century later. Fast forward to our present day, May 2024, in Handlova, Slovakia. We find ourselves faced with an eerily similar situation. On this day, Slovakia's Prime Minister, Robert Fico, fell victim to an attempted assassination. A populist leader, Fico has been at the helm of Slovakia for about 10 years, steering the nation with a pro-Russian and anti-American stance, tinged with corruption allegations. The shooting of Fico, much like that of Archduke Ferdinand, has sent shockwaves through the political landscape, sparking condemnation from Slovak and European leaders alike. Concerns are raised about the impact on the upcoming European Union Parliament elections, as the world watches with bated breath, hoping history does not repeat itself. These two events, separated by a century, bear striking similarities. Both involve influential figures targeted in shocking public attacks. Both have potential to influence political landscapes, and both have the power to incite fear and uncertainty on an international scale. The assassination of Archduke Ferdinand led to a cascade of events, culminating in World War I. The attack on Prime Minister Fico, while not as immediate in its consequences, has the potential to destabilize an already tense geopolitical climate especially in light of FICO's pro-Russian stance and the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict. However, it's crucial to remember that history isn't predestined to repeat itself. In the aftermath of FICO's shooting, leaders have called for unity and an end to violence. This response, a stark contrast to the retaliatory measures post-Ferdinand's assassination, may yet steer us away from the precipice of widespread conflict. In conclusion, these two events the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand and the attempted assassination of Prime Minister Robert Fico serve as stark reminders of the fragility of peace and the potential for single events to shape global history. As we continue to navigate the complexities of our modern world, it's imperative to learn from the past to prevent history from repeating its darkest chapters.